The closest supernova for a decade has just been seen in a nearby galaxy. A star in the Pinwheel Galaxy, 21 million light years from Earth, has given up the ghost and its stellar life ended in a dramatic and violent explosion. The Pinwheel Galaxy is so beautiful in itself and relatively easy to image that it's being shot all the time by both professional and amateurs. So we actually know pretty well the moment of the explosion. For example, here there's no supernova, but just a short time later and bam, this bright dot is the supernova. Yes, it is just a dot, but that really is the end point of a massive star's life. These two shots are just a month apart. You can see no supernova and then explosion. And there are loads of other examples too. This supernova has been given the catchy name SN 2023 IXF and it's giving us a rare chance to watch a nearby supernova evolve in real time and in incredible detail. We do see thousands of supernovae each year, but they're normally much further away, so it really is an awesome opportunity. We'll see light curves and spectra from this over the coming months, so it's really exciting to learn this much about a nearby supernova. This is the closest supernova to us since a 2014 explosion inside the Cigar Galaxy. That one was called SN 2014J and was even closer at just 11 million light years. That one was the closest supernova for half a century and none have been closer since. It was also discovered by chance during a teaching session at the University of London Observatory and was then bright enough to be seen by amateur astronomers too. The Pinwheel Galaxy is actually a really good galaxy for recent supernovae too. And in 2011, a bright core collapse supernova was also spotted in the same galaxy. The distances involved might still sound large at millions of light years, but we should be kind of glad that they aren't too much closer. Anything closer than about a thousand light years would have a noticeable impact on Earth's biosphere, and less than 50 light years would probably wipe out the planet entirely. That said, I wouldn't say no to a certain nearby star exploding soon because it's probably a safe distance and it would look incredibly cool in the sky, both in the nighttime and in the day. Our new friend in the Pinwheel Galaxy was discovered by a Japanese amateur astronomer, and it's now easily outshining its host galaxy for a while, although it has likely peaked in brightness already. It's likely to remain visible for years as the radiation from the explosion dissipates, but it is probably too far for us to see something stunning like the famous supernova remnants, such as the Crab Nebula. We'll just have to deal with bright spots for this one. Follow-up observations started within hours of the detection, with telescopes all around the planet, including some space telescopes too. Hubble has looked at it, and if we look at the JWST logs for last week, we can see that it was imaging Messier 101, which is another name for the Pinwheel Galaxy. So it too has been pointed in that direction. Whenever we see those images, you can be sure I'll share them on this channel too. So it's probably worth subscribing to make sure that you don't miss that. Unfortunately, it does seem to be the case that this event was too far away to be seen by the LIGO gravitational wave detectors, assuming they were on at the time of explosion anyway. Given the small window we have for when the explosion happened, it gives us about a 50-50 chance that at least one of them was on, given the status of LIGO in that window. In theory, if a supernova went off close enough, it could produce gravitational waves big enough that they could be seen, but it's never happened yet. Similarly, it doesn't look like any neutrino observatories saw any neutrinos from the explosion either, but again, they should be able to if one happens closer. Also, up until this point, the supernova has actually been too bright and wide for us to work out exactly which star in the galaxy went boom. But as it dims, we'll start to figure out which one is now missing. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.